Hey, it's a Sony. It's a Sony Trinitron KV1326R Street Find. Curbside with remote. Six point four watts. Boy, is that a dead CRT? I can't even see that. I can see it in the camera, but I can't see it in person is it dim I'm looking at it I can't see it I see the reflection of the remote but I can see the flashing picked up in the camera oh well we have some old-school controls here let's see oh there we go now we're cooking hey that looks good color hue cable Get a piece of wire, we'll see if... Well, well what happened there? It just kind of clinko turculated on its own accord. It's going to say I'll get a piece of wire, we'll see if it'll get channel 6. Oh wow, there's an incredible capacitor venting smell coming out of this thing. Wow! Mmm, it's like a combination of cigarettes and french fries. Okay, let's try that again with the back off and the set powered up and the sound turned down. That was an incredibly strong smell. Of course, it's... I smell it. Seems like it's making all the dogs in the hood bark, but I don't see it. This is a trip. Wow, I can smell it, but I don't see anything. Okay, well, oh, there it is right there. There's the capacitor that's failing. I believe. And I went... I went in the house to get the uh, thermal imaging and I came back out and it wouldn't turn on. So we can we can see exactly what's getting hot here. There's two resistors here. And there's no picture on the screen right now, but it sounds like there's high voltage and it looks like this capacitor right here is getting hot. This one way back, it's right there where my finger is. See my finger? 
it feels slightly warm, not hot, hot. So that's a little bit better of a view as to what's getting hot. So that capacitor back there, I'm going to say that's the one that's stinking, venting. I'm going to pull it out and we'll have a look. I believe the TV quit working too. Okay, so the TV kind of stopped responding and stopped working uh, but this is the capacitor right here that was getting warm this one so I'm gonna pull it out and sniff it actually it looks a little bulged on the top too and then these resistors those two pink resistors right there were getting hot the regulator was getting hot and a few other resistors but let's pull that capacitor out of here Oh yeah, I'd say that took a dump. It's bulged on the top. Leaked out on the bottom. Look at that, the nice fresh spooge dripping out of it. It's a Nippon Kimikon. Is that what that is? 22 at 250. That's kind of an odd value. Okay. EOL or board. Look at what we got here. 22 at 250. So we'll uh, all. This was a very, very low hour new TV, so I'm going to confiscate that off of there and we'll do a little testing on them. Okay, here's the old leaky one. Uh, yeah. 839 nanofarads at uh, 150 ohms ESR. Okay, here's the replacement. I just hope that uh, it didn't damage the set. That looks a little bit better. 23 microfarads at 1.2 ohms ESR. Yeah, I hope it didn't damage the set. You know. Okay, our new uh, electrolytic has been installed, and here we go. Uh, let's see, watts. There we go, watts. That sounded clean and crisp. Hey! Look at that. Let's see. Why is there no contrast? Let me get an antenna on it and see if it gets channel six. Well, There we go. Channel 6. Low power. Uh, Guadalupe TV radio. Coming in. Yeah, color. Importante. Hue, color. If I, if I had a real antenna, it would be very importante. But hey, this is working good. Yes, más importante. Come to find out that there are actually a lot of people here in Los Angeles that listen to this on FM, 87.7 FM. Uh, it's actually quite popular, so maybe it's a trick they use to keep 
an FM license as low power uh, television broadcast. Anyway, I, I, I would dare say this is a fix. It's not in the best of shape, but I got the remote here. See, they're actually the batteries, I'm sure. Well, let me see. These batteries died in 2009. I guess I could grab a set of batteries just for the entertainment value. Yeah, even with even with uh, good batteries, it still doesn't do anything. So it's who knows? I don't even know if RM717 is the right uh, remote for this set, but who cares? You would. Yeah, I guess you'd use the remote to turn it on and off, but there it is. So should we take a look inside this remote? It looks like somebody spilled a drink in it at one time. These little conductive pads push on these little... Let me clean this board off. Maybe it's just got a layer of Coke syrup. It, it's sticky. See that? Definitely got some some kind of uh, sugary soft drink thing going on here. So alcohol, paper towels, and a toothbrush. And make sure you you know pour enough alcohol on it to like soak the whole table. And. Um, yeah, so we're going to scrub this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to scrub the uh, membrane. We're going to scrub that. There's really not a whole lot to this. There's a custom IC, there's a crystal, um, there's a transistor that probably drives this little ultraviolet or infrared LED. It's probably infrared. Uh, and then there's just the switches that there's nothing to this Like if it doesn't work now, it's you know, either the LED is bad or that something was damaged from all that syrup I'm gonna let it dry in the Sun for a few minutes All right, so let's see a lot of times with a camera. You can see this thing flashing Oh, yeah, there it is you can really see it with night vision. It, it uh, looks like a flashlight with night vision. So I bet it works. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All it needed was a good cleaning, just had some coke syrup in it. So there you go. Working TV, perfect for a, a newlyweds, uh, uh, bridal shower gift certificate, rosary, uh, bar mitzvah for your uh, dog groomers, cousins, sisters, uh, babysitter. Perfect gift. Sony, man.